interested in the effects of pollution on ecosystems over long time scales. We all know that pollution is bad. Exposure to toxins can be harmful to human health and to the health of the environment. The thing is, pollution has been happening for many decades, and we have very little understanding of the long-term consequences of chronic exposure over the course of many generations. This is a pretty difficult thing to study. We could pollute the environment and then see what happens after 50 years. That would take a really long time, obviously. Another alternative might be to travel back in time and see how pollution was affecting ecosystems in the past. Or perhaps you could resurrect animals from different times in the past and see how they were affected by the pollution that they were experiencing. Being a scientist, I know that time travel is impossible. So I chose the resurrection route. I find animals from up to a century in the past and I bring them to life. This probably sounds a bit like Jurassic Park, only the animals that I resurrect are pretty harmless. They're called zooplankton, tiny microscopic crustaceans that live in lakes. The group of zooplankton that I focus on are called Daphnia. People sometimes call them water fleas, and you can see why. Daphnia have a pretty amazing survival strategy that involves laying resting eggs during times of stress. Many of these resting eggs become buried in the mud at the bottom of lakes before they ever have a chance to hatch. They are still viable, even many decades later, but only if they receive the cues that they need to hatch. I think of Daphnia as an indicator of the health of lakes today and in the past. Pollution from energy use, wastewater, pesticides, and fertilizers tends to accumulate in lakes where it can affect Daphnia in a variety of ways. These pollutants leave a signature in the mud that accumulates at the bottom of lakes. Every year a new layer of mud settles down, and with it are clues about the environmental and also biological condition of the lake at that time, including the pollution record. Here's where I come in. Scientists like me who are interested in the history of lakes can take a core of mud from the bottom of a lake and see how conditions have changed over time. A lake core looks like this. Mud laid down at the top is from the past few years, and mud found at this depth is from about 100 years ago. By comparing layers from different depths, I can build a picture of how pollution levels have changed over the past century. What makes my work special is that I am able to hatch Daphnia from resting eggs in the mud and see how actual animals that lived as far back as, say, the 1960s were able to deal with the environmental conditions of that time. Together, we can find out how pollution has affected ecosystems over the past several decades, which will give us an idea of what today's pollution might mean for future generations. Your support of this project will help me reconstruct pollution histories in my lakes, and also help pay for materials I need to culture Daphnia in the lab. Thanks for spending a few minutes in your day to learn about my research. If you'd like to learn more, check out my project description below. And thanks in advance for your support.